Good evening, dear ladies. Let's bless that we will all have the zchut to greet Mashiach Tzidken Barachamim Moin Bimra Bi'amein Amen. Eliyahu Navi Eliyahu Tish Ve'Eliyahu Giladi Bimra Yavol Elu Meshach David Eliyahu Navi Zechul Atom. And may we all have the zchut to see the building of Beit Hamikdash Shashi Bimra Bi'amein Amen. Ki Ayin Bay Nehu B'Shuv Adonai Tzion. Ata Takum Terachem Tzion Ki Et Lechanana Kiva Moed. Hashivenu Adonai Lecha Venashuv Achadesh Amenu Kekedem. And we all have the zchut to go to Eretz Yisrael on the wings of eagle. And we all have per part in Eretz Yisrael. B'Shem Hashem Naseh Venatzliach En Od Milvado. Hashem Sfatai Tiftach Ufi Agit Hilatecha. And everything that we are doing is in B'Shem Kol Yisrael, in the name of Klal Yisrael. Let's bless Bezrat Hashem. All of us soldiers, Shilchu Leshalom, Vechzeru Leshalom. May Hashem will stand Liminam um, on the right side, Bezrat Hashem, and show them salvation and victory, Besiyat Adishmaya. And when Hashem cut off the head of the snake, Bimera Amen. Amen. And may Hashem Bezrat Hashem uh, will bring all of the hostages back home, Bezrat Hashem, healthy mentally and physically. And may Hashem bring Refuah Shlema, health mentally and physically, to Klal Amo Yisrael. And among them, all of the soldiers and all of the wounded, Besiyat Adishmaya, that they will have health mentally and physically. And Bezrat Hashem, everything is Lelu Nishmat. All of the souls that were slaughtered on, on the... Uh, on Simchat Torah, on Shabbat of Shmini Atzeret and Simchat Torah, and, all, and for all of the soldiers and everybody that needs from Aleph to Taf, Bezrat Hashem, may, may they all be Zoche with us. Bezrat Hashem. Hashem Ikom Damam, Hashem will revenge their blood. So, Vuyan Parashat Vayechi, this Shabbat is Shabbat Vayechi, it's the last portion of Chumash uh, Bereshit. And Besiyat Adishmaya, Chazak Chazak Venit Chazak, the Parashat Vayechi. And this Vayechi, which means a livelihood. You know, it's very interesting uh, when we saw the portion of Chaye Sarah, the life of Sarah, the, and we know over there that Sarah passes away. And here we see the same thing. It's Vayechi, Vayechi Yaakov. And it's like Yaakov lives, Yaakov lived, Yaakov lives. So, uh, and it speaks about the uh, passing of uh, Yaakov Avinu, Yaakov, our, father, our forefather. But we're going to learn something. It's how do we accept the leadership of Hashem in this world? How do we need to accept it, the Siyat to, uh, to be happy with everything that we go through, with all of the challenges that we go through? And Bezrat Hashem will learn it through Parashat Vayechi, through Yaakov Avinu Besiyat Adishmaya and his children. We know over here that he, he becomes sick because he asked from Hashem, he said, so if a person passes away, he doesn't know when he passes away. So Hashem, if you make a person sick, then he knows that this is already his time and then he will write a will and he will bless his children and he prepare his, himself and his children. So Hashem said, okay, Chayecha, I'm starting with you. So we see that Yaakov Avinu doesn't feel well, and Yosef comes to him, and then he blesses also the children of Yosef, Ephraim and Menashe, and he adds them to the tribes. Keshimon ve'keruven ve'shimon is Ephraim and Menashe, and then he blesses all of the tribes. So we are going, Be'ezrat Hashem, to go to the Baal Shem Tov. The Baal Shem Tov, and we spoke about it on Hanukkah. He says a beautiful thing. And im adam yeda bidi'au ve'emunah shlema shebechol ha'astarot, if a person will know with, with faith, faith is spiritual, okay? The, the tools of faith is davening, is praying, okay? And the clothing of faith is confidence confidence in Hashem. So if a person knows with a full faith that in all the challenges, in all of the places that Hashem conceals himself, it's Hashem, just he's concealed. It's like in nature. Hashem is concealed in nature. Nature is a, is a miracle. It's a big miracle. Every split of a second is a miracle. But Hashem conceals himself in nature in order that we will search for him. 
in order that we will know him. This is why we came to this world. And by knowing him, we emulate his attributes. And by this, we, we get the merit to go to, to the world to come and to be in paradise. And to be close to the light of Hashem, the eternal light of Hashem, and to the love of Hashem and the warmth of Hashem. So, אם אדם ידע בידיעה ואמונה שלמה שבכל ההסתרות הקדוש ברוך הוא מסתתר שם, ואין זו הסתרה כלל, so by knowing that Hashem is concealed in all of our challenges, in everything that we see that happens to us and happens to our nation and happens to the world, והיה אדם דבוק באמונה שלמה בבורא, and the And, and we cleave with a true uh, emuna, with true faith to Hashem, to God. Lo yera lo shumra. Nothing can touch him. No evil can touch him. Ela yekabel me Hashem ahava vechiba. But he will ex- receive from Hashem love and, and, and kindness. So if we know this, no, no one can hurt us. You remember we spoke from Mishneh Torah uh, Laramba, Moreh Nebuchim Shel Rambam, a guy took the confused of the Rambam, and he says that the divine present, the present divine presence is around us by the way we know Hashem. The more we know and cleave to Hashem, the more the light of Hashem is is all around us, inside, outside, all around us, protecting us. So no evil can come to us. That happened to Avraham Avinu. Three days he was in Ur Kasadim, inside a fire for three days, and nothing happened to him. He was walking in the fire. Hashem himself protected him. Can you imagine? Chanina Mishael Vazaria. They were also thrown by Nebuchadnezzar to, to the fire, but nothing happened to them because Hashem sent an angel to protect them. This is when we'll, you live we live, we breathe, we think Hashem. That we know that, and you, um, and you know, uh, this is what we are supposed to do really, because our soul is from Hashem, our soul is from God. So it's only that the clothing, the body causes us to think that we are separated from God, but we are not, because our soul is from God. So we are 24-7 with, with God, but we just don't know it. We need to know it. We need the, not only our mind to understand this, but we need to feel it also in our hearts. And there's a big distance between the mind and the heart, because we have to feel that this, this is true. So now we, are, we need to accept the leadership of Hashem in, in every way, that, in every attributes, That, that he bestows upon us, uh, if it's kindness or, or, we feel, or we feel that it's a challenge, that we have suffering, no, um, this is the basic, that uh, Hashem is not, doesn't have vengeance. He doesn't want to venge us for anything. He just wants us to do tshuva, to repent, to do his will, in order that we will have a place in the world to come in paradise, began Eden. So, Be'ezrat Hashem, we look at Parashat Ve'echi, and this is a special parasha. And it says about Parashat Ve'echi, Lama Parasha Zostuma, which means, why is this a closed uh, parasha portion? What does it mean, a closed portion? Okay, if you look at the, um, the scroll of the Torah, you will see that between each parasha, each portion, there's a distance between the ending of the previous portion and the beginning of the, the next portion. Okay, so we have a Yigash and we have a Yechi. So usually it's a space of nine letters. And, it's a, and, and the Mepharshim say that this is in order that Moshe Rabbeinu will have time between portion to portion to look at it and, and to think about it. So there's always, and it's very curious, there's usually at least a space of nine, nine letters. But except for this portion, between Parashat Vayigash, and that was the previous Shabbat, and Parashat Vayechi, there's no, there's no distance, which means immediately Parashat Vayechi starts. And, and if you look at the scroll of the Torah, you will see that immediately Parashat Vayechi starts. So... Lama uh, Rashi asks, why is this a, 
are closed and it's called if there's no space if there's space it's called an open portion but if it, there's no place space it's called a closed a portion stuma lama parasha zo stuma asora she says two things alef lefi shekevan shenifter yakov avinu because this portion yakov avinu passes away nistemu enehem velibam shel israel mitzarat ashabut shetkhilu so their eyes and their hearts were closed which means they they weren't aware that they are starting the slavery in Egypt so the eyes and the hearts were closed and davar akher says rashi she bikesh legalot et haketz lebana venista mimenu that uh, that the akovavin wanted to reveal the end of days to his children when mashiach is going to be when messiah is going to be revealed in the world and it was closed from him Hashem concealed it from him didn't and allow him to reveal it okay so let's see first of all let um, we, we spoke now that he wanted to reveal to their tribes when Mashiach is going to be revealed so we are going to see it's it's written Bereshit Rabba that he kept so this is what I wanted to give you last um, uh, yesterday Bezrat Hashem but I'm just giving uh, this, the story about it but Bezrat Hashem Hashem will give us the schut to learn about it also Mishneh Torah Al Rambam Bilchot Kriyat Shema in the commandments of uh, reciting Shema also there it's written so I'm just going uh, to Bereshit Rabba and it says He kabtsu v'shimu b'nei Yaakov which means that Yaakov Yunu tells them gather around and listen the children of Yaakov Mikan zachu Yisrael lekriyat Shema from here we we know that the children of Israel received the uh, to recite from Yaakov Avinu to recite Shema Yisrael. When Yaakov Avinu at his bed death he was a uh, passing from this world he called the 12 tribes so listen to your father Israel. You remember Yaakov he has two names, Yaakov and Israel. Yaakov is on, in order to overcome Esav in this world. Israel is in all, it's a spiritual, higher spiritual name in order to overcome the angel of Esav in heaven. Maybe you have a disagreement about Hashem. Amrulo and his sons are saying, Shema Israel, Avinu, listen, Israel, our father, Keshem she'en belibcha machloket ala kadosh baruchu, kach en belibenu machloket. As you don't have any disagreement about Hashem, this is how we don't have any questions about Hashem. We don't doubt Hashem, we don't have any questions. We have a true belief in Hashem. Hashem is our God, Hashem is one. Okay. Hashem is our God, Hashem is one. And then he said, Baruch Shem, that, uh, that he, the name of Hashem will be blessed, Kvod uh, Malchuto, and the honor of his kingdom forever. Hadahu, Shisrael, Mashkimim, Mavirim, Umarivim, Becholion, Bomrim, Shma Israel. That, and from this we we recite Shema Israel in the morning and at night and and this is uh, this is what we do okay so the question is why did he ask him why did they, he ask him if there's a problem or he has why does he ask him if there's a if they, ha, they have any question about Hashem or a disagreement about Hashem so this is the measure of uh, mercy of Hashem and the measure of judgment you know this is accepting the, the way that Hashem measures for us with each att attribute that he uses even if he gives us goodness that we that are revealed goodness or re revealed mercy or we have challenges that that are that is suffering that we suffer from the challenges so Everything is the goodness of Hashem. Call David Rahman and David. From this we learn that everything that Hashem does, it does for good. It's not for revenge. It's in order that we will cleanse ourselves from our sins in order to have, because 
this uh, we are only passing through in this world this world is that we will cleanse ourselves in order that when we pass to the true world which is for eternity we will be in paradise under the throne of Hashem and and receive his love and and his light and his warmth of God so um, uh, Rabbeinu Bachiei, he says about this, this, when he asked the question, if you have a, a, a disagreement about Hashem because of your challenges, of the challenges that you grow, go through. So he said, Yaakov Avinu this is what Rabbeinu Bachiei says, So all of his sons, he saw that the letters, there's, in, in the letters, uh, of the Hebrew Aleph Bet in the names of the tribes, which is Ruven, Shimon, Levi, uh, Yehudai, Sachar, Zvulun, Yosef, Binyamin, uh, Gad, Ve'asher, Dan, Ve'naftali, and uh, also Ephraim, Menashe. All of them, all of the from the all of the Hebrew uh, letters of the Aleph Bet, there are eighteen letters. Two that are missing is the letter Chet and the letter Tet. So Rabbeinu Bachyei says, Yaakov Avinu Ra'a Shotiyot Chet Vebet Enman Metsuyot Beshmot Banav That these letters are not in the name, that are in, not part in the names of the tribes, of his sons. Amar Yaakov, Kevan She'en Ba'em Chet This means that they don't have a sin. That's why they asked him, they, they, he asked them if they have a, a question about Hashem. Kevan Shem Ben Chet, which means Chet and Tet, comes to the, adds to the word sin, because he saw that there's no Chet and Tet. Ru'im hem she'galen lehem taketz. So they are deservable that I will reveal the end of days to my sons. And then he says, he says, okay, but also Kuf and the letter Tzadik are missing. This is what Rabbeinu Mechayes says. Yaakov said, okay, but also the, the Kuf and the Tzadik are missing from their names. And Kuf and Tzadik add up to the word Ketz, the end. So he said, And this was close from him and he couldn't reveal the end of days. And why? And I, I, I am... We want revealed when the time will come of the end of at the end of days because we are almost two thousand years from the ruining of the second temple. Our eyes and our hearts are still closed. We need to open them in order to understand that we have to have unconditional love among us because we are one soul one body all of the children of Israel in order to fix the reason of the ruining of the second temple so we see over here that because it's so long if he would have revealed to us this maybe we wouldn't have enough br breath to wait so Baruch Hashem Hashem helped us that it's better that we didn't know and we could have opened the gates for Mashiach if we would have just had unconditional love to each other. That we would love each other because we know that we are all one soul and each and every one of us has a fixing to do in this world and together we are fixing the sin of the first human being and his wife, Adam and Eve. So we see over here that we received the Shema Israel, and we'll speak, why did we receive Shema Israel? What does it mean when we say Shema Israel? Like his sons told him. So now let's go back to remember how we need to be grateful to Hashem and accept all of his leaderships in any measure that he measures us with love and always say like it's written the Masechet Brachot page uh, 60 Amud Bet it's written Kol David Rachman Tav Abid we always have to say that everything that Hashem does does for good everything all of the challenges that we go through so we go back to Parashat Vayigash and in Parashat Vayigash we go to chapter 47 and it says there um, Pasuk uh, uh, verse 8 and 9. 
ויאמר פרעה אל יעקב, כמה ימי שני חייך עשו? פרעה says to יעקב, when יוסף brings him in front of פרעה, he asks him, how many are the days of, of the years of your life? Okay, he asks him, um, how, which is, how long, um, how old is he? ויאמר יעקב אל פרעה, and יעקב tells פרעה, ימי שני מגוריי, שלושים ומאת שנה, So I am 130 years, מעט ורעים, few and bad, היו ימי שני חיי ולא השיגו את ימי שני חיי אבותיי בימי מגורים. So he says, my, my 130 years, it is uh, few and it is uh, bad. My, my life, um, my two eras of my life, and, and I didn't come yet to, uh, to the, the life, the span of life of my forefathers and my father Yitzchak. And Yitzchak lived for 180 years. Avraham Avinu for 175 years. Yaakov Avinu lived for 147 years. Okay, so why did Pharaoh ask him? Because Paro, he... All of the doors that he had were short, and Yaakov was tall. And he saw that when Yaakov Avinu came in order to see him, the, the, the door went up in order that Yaakov Avinu does not have to bow down a little bit, you know, to bend himself in order to go in. Why? Because Pharaoh made himself uh, like Avodah Zarah, uh, other gods. So everybody that came, it's like they're bowing to him. But he saw that the, the ceiling of the, of the door went up, just like it was with Avraham Avinu. With Avraham Avinu, the same thing happened. So he thought, maybe this is Avraham Avinu. So he asked him, and he tells him that his life were few and bad, and they didn't reach yet the amount of life, the, the amount of years that his father lived in. אוקיי, מעט ורעים, so let's see, בסייעתא דשמיא, what the midrash says, the תוספות say about this, בשם המדרש, and it says, and I'm quoting, I'm quoting it from the midrash, it says, בשעה שאמר יעקב מעט ורעים היו, that when יעקב בן said, a few and bad were my life, אמר לו הקדוש ברוך הוא, השם told him, אני מלתתיך מעשיו ומלבן, השם says, I saved you from עשיו and from לבן, והחזרתי לך דינה וגם יוסף, and I brought you back דינה, and I also brought you back יוסף, הנה, you see your son, he says, ואתה מתרעם על חייך שמעט ורעים, and you are saying that your life is few and, and, and bad, he says, חייך, this, חייך means a, a, an oath, שמניין התיבות שיש מן ויאמר עד בימי מגוריהם, כך יחסרו משנותיך, שלא תחיה כחיי יצחק אביך. Which means, השם says, because of this, we have to listen very carefully. השם is going to take off. This is how we are responsible for every word that we take out of our mouth. השם is going to take off from the life of Yaakov Avinu. He was supposed to live 180 years. Hashem is going to take exactly the, the amount of words from, the, from, in, from Parashat Vegas, chapter 47. From the, the moment, uh, from verse 8 to verse, the end of verse 9, Vayomer Paro, that Paro says, from this, exactly the amount of letters that is inside these two verses, he's going to take off of his life. So Yaakov Avinu was supposed to, uh, to live 180 years. There are exactly 33 words, 33 tevot, 33 words, and uh, uh, sub subtracted from 180, it's exactly 147. And this is uh, the amount of, of years that uh, Yaakov Avinu lived. Can you imagine? how we are responsible for every word that we say. Hashem said, I saved you from Esav, I saved you, I saved you from Lavan, I brought you back Dina, after Hamor ben Shechem took her, I brought her back, and, and uh, please mute yourselves. And he says, and I brought you back Yosef, 
and this is how you say thank you so okay I'm gonna take exactly the amount of words from the moment Pharaoh is asking you which means exactly 33 and your answer it's 33 words I'm taking it from your life so Yaakov Vinu lives 147 years instead of 180 because 180 is subtract from it 33 it's exactly 147 okay so what do we leave? first of all say to Hashem that all of our life is honey thank you Hashem everything is good in the past in the present and what's going to be everything you just poured honey on us everything is good from this we have to learn the Siyat Adishmer that everything that everything that Hashem does is does for good Kol David Rachmana Letav Avid by this Besiyat Adishmaya, I found a, a nice thing from Shvilei Pinchas, from Pinchas Friedman, Shalita, and it says that he says by the name of the Baal Shem, Shemituk Adinin al edei metziat chesed betoch adin. So, how do we soften judgment by finding the mercy that is inside the judgment? So by saying this this verse, by saying this sentence. Call David Rahman al-Tababid that everything in any challenge that we go through, when we say this immediately we soften judgment. Everything that Hashem does is is, um, is for good. So when we say this sentence immediately, we soften all of the judgment that that is around us. This is a big thing. So it says um Kiddushin, uh, page 52 Amud Bit. And Vayechi Yaakov Beretz Mitzrayim Shva Esre Shana So Yaakov lived in Egypt for 17 years. This is very... Why 17 years? We know that Yosef, when he left him and in order that he sent him to see the, uh, the peace of his brothers, when Yaakov sent him in order that he will, he will, uh, he will speak merit about them. So we know he was 17 years old. First of all, measure for measure, this is how Hashem leads the world. Because 17 years, it, uh, Yaakov Avinu taught the Torah to his son Yosef. So 17 years, Hashem gives him back. This is to show him that here you have 17 years that he, he lives and he's happy. He doesn't know what sorrow is. Baruch Hashem. He doesn't have any challenges that are not good. Baruch Hashem. So we see 17 parallel to 17. But what is 17? 17 is the numerical value of Tov. Tet. Tov is good in Hebrew. Tet is 9. Vav is 6. Bet is 2. Is 17. So from here we'll learn that even though at the beginning we see all now we see all of the picture. It says Okay, Masachat Psachim. It says in Masachat Psachim, page 50, Amud Aleph, Lo Kaolama Zeolama Ba, this world is not like the world the the the, the world to come. Haolama ze this world al psorotovot on good news omer baruch atova metiv and we learned this in the halachot just lately we're learning atova metiv we bless uh, he who is good and does good ve al psorot raot omer baruch deana emet and on on uh, news that are not uh, not good we say uh, the true judge we say blessed is the true judge. But in this, in this is in this world. For good news, we say, we say, Baruch Atova Meti, blessed is he that is good and does good. And about news that are not good, we say, Baruch Deana Meti, blessed that blessed he who is the true judge. But in the world to come, it says, Masechet Psachim, it says, which, uh, page fifty, and it says over there. But in, in the world to come, we bless only that blessed he who is good and does good. And why is this? Because then we see that everything was good. 
because we are inside the picture we don't see outside the picture so what happens so this is the story we see that uh, the, the brothers they put him in the pit and they sell him they take his garment ktonet pasim they put it in a, in blood they bring it back to their father yakov and he thinks that an animal uh, ate him taof toraf yosef so he thinks that an animal ate him and, and he doesn't have uh, his body in order to to uh, to, um, to see that he's dead but this is what he thinks and then now he sees him in Egypt and he sees that he became the right hand of Pharaoh and more than that he that he became he is uh, sustaining these that have hunger the country he's sustaining the people which means that everything that Hashem El Nora Alila that all of that what Hashem did eventually it was for, for good and he's sustaining also Yaakov and his brothers and all of their uh, his their wives and their children and, and, and their livestock everything so what seems to be a challenge that seems not good eventually it was not only good it is sustained the whole world so we see from here that Yaakov Avinu uh, made a, um, it's, a, it's like a self-examination. So he was thinking, if Hashem decided to take 33 years of my life, when I said that, uh, ve'ra'im ayu chayai, that it was few and bad my life, it means that I need to learn and teach my children to say thank you to Hashem for all of the challenges, the ones that seem good and the ones that don't seem good, the one that the goodness is concealed, we can't see it. No, so this is what's written by Yaakov Beretz Mitzrayim that Yaakov um, lived in a, the land of Egypt, Shana, 17 years. Okay, so it says, the Midrash says, Shana is also Leshanen, Milshon to teach, not only a year, it means also in Hebrew to teach. So 17 years, Yaakov Avinu is teaching his children to say, Kol David Rachmana Letav Avid, that everything that Hashem does is only for good, Besiat Adishma. This is what he teaches his children for 17 years. Can you imagine? This we learn from Yaakov Avinu. This is also beautiful because um, Rabbi Pinchas Friedman speaks over here about uh, Rabbeinu Akadosh, Rabbi Uda Nasi, that wrote the Mishnah, and uh, you re and you remember the Mishnah was written because of the exile, and he was afraid that, that we we won't remember, we won't uh, the Mishnah, and it was well, this is the oral Torah. It, it's not supposed to be written, but because they were afraid that it will be forget forgotten from the children of Israel. So uh, he wrote the Mishnah, and he starts the, the Mishnah with Kriyat Shema, with reciting Kriyat Shema, Shema Yisrael. So we see, so merit, when a person becomes, to an, a, when a man, a, a boy becomes 13 years old, so when does he recite Shema? And at the end of the Mishnah, Masechet Oktsim, it ends with this. Machnasechet ba Mishnah machzat Masechet Oktsim pe perek kigimel Mishnah yud bet. It says Amar Rabbi Shimon ben Chalaf Talo Matzah Kadosh Baruchu Kli Machzik Bracha that Hashem did not find a vessel holding a blessing for the children of Israel. El Ashalom, only the peace, only peace. Shenemar in chapter 29 in Tehillim, it says, Hashem Ozla Moiten, Hashem Evarechet Amo Bashalom, that Hashem will give might to his people and Hashem will bless them with peace. Our might, our strength in, is in our peace when we are united, when, when we are one. But what does it mean? First of all, know that the initials of Rabbi Uda Nasi, Nasi, the Nitzotso Shel Yaakov Avinu. The initials is Nasi, president in Hebrew, is Nitzotso Shel Yaakov Avinu. That yeah, Rabbi Uda Nasi with a spark of Yaakov Avinu, which means like a recognition of Yaakov Avinu. So we see over here, so he starts with Kriyat Shema and he ends with peace. Why? 
So this is beautiful, because when we say Shema Yisrael Hashem Elokeinu Hashem Echad, what do we mean? That what did they really answer their father, the tribes? So Shema Yisrael, listen Israel. Israel is their father. It's the, the name of the higher spiritual name of Yaakov, which we are named after, because it includes, it includes it's a, a big secret the name uh, Israel. Lirosh, first of all, we are the head. We are the firstborns of all of the family of humanity. Hashem shows us to be his firstborn, shows us to be his special nation, that we will receive the Torah. Eventually, all of the challenges that we went in Egypt, we went through in Egypt, eventually it was in order that we will cleanse ourselves so we can receive the Torah on Ma'amad al-Sinai, that we can accept and receive the Torah on the mountain of Sinai and, and by this bring holiness to the world. So, and, and livelihood to the world. So, why? So, we said, Shema Israel, first listen, Israel. This is what they tell the Father when they, he asks if, if they are true with Hashem, if they don't have any disagreement about Hashem, by the measures that he measured for them, measures for them, which means the measure of, of, of mercy and the measure of judgment. So, Hashem has a, a, a few names. One of them is Hashem. Hashem is the name of mercy of Hashem. And when it's Yud Kei Vav Kei. And this is the name of mercy of Hashem. And then Hashem has Elohim, God. And this is the name of judgment of Hashem. Everything comes from the name of, of mercy of Hashem. Yud Kei Vav Kei, Hashem Havia. Everything that you see around you. But the, the name God is like a clothing to the name because we cannot bear the, uh, the light of, of the name of Hashem Yudkei Vavkei, the eternal light of Hashem. So it's dressed up with clothing. So the name of, of, of Elohim is the, that, uh, that like a clothing to the name of Hashem Yudkei Vavkei. That's why Elohim is, uh, is the numerical value, which uh, Elohim is God. And it's the numerical value of nature, the nature, Hateva. Elohim in numerical value is 26. Hateva, which is nature. He is 5. Tet is, um, is 9. Bet is 2. Ayin is 70. It's 86. Which means Hashem is concealed in nature. Everything that we see around us is a big miracle. Everything. But Hashem is concealed in it. So in Besiyat Adishmaya, we see Hashem, the name, of, Hashem, uh, the name of, of Hashem of mercy, and then Hashem Elokeinu, Elokeinu, our God, is the name of Hashem of judgment. Hashem Echad, everything is mercy, is mercy, which means it's Hashem, the name of mercy, and Echad is one. We know that the measure of mercy of Hashem and the measure of judgment are one, it's all mercy. So what is our goal in this world is to make peace between the measure of, of mercy and the measure of judgment to know that it's all one, it's all mercy. Well, Yaakov Avinu saw this. We see that Yosef HaTzadik tells, um, tell, tells his brothers, he tells his brothers, Yosef HaTzadik, uh, in Parashat Vayechi, he says over there, um, verse uh, Chapter 50, verse 19, he says, So he tells them, you intended to harm me, because he's now um, reassuring his brothers that after his father passes away, that, and, and they go and they bury him, uh, and he reassures them that he won't, uh, that he will only provide for them and he will do good for them. Because it says, "Vatem chashavtem alai ra'a elokim chashval etova." You, um, you intended to harm me, but Hashem, God intended elokim. God, this is the measure of of, uh, of judgment. God intended me, intended, uh, intended it to be good. Leman asek hayom azel achiot amrav, in order that I, that Hashem through me will bring livelihood to a lot a, a lot of people. 
So they, we, we don't see in the process what's going to happen. We just see the challenges that we're going through. But we need to remember that we are only a dot in, a, in the picture. There's the whole picture, but we, we see only a, a, a dot in the picture. We are inside this dot of the picture. So eventually everything became good, which means that the measure of judgment and the measure of mercy are one. They are all one, they are all mercy. We just don't see the whole picture. So in order to soften judgment, this is what the Baal Shem Tov says, and it says in the Gemara, that in order to soften judgment, we need always to say, Kol David that everything that, uh, that Hashem does, uh, that the merciful does, is only good, the Siyat Adishmaya. How do we know that? That even the name of God of judgment, Elohim, is really mercy? So look how beautiful it is. Elohim, if we'll divide the word Elohim and we'll make it male, we'll take the Mem and the Lamed and the Aleph from Elohim and we'll take the letter He and the letter Yud and put male Yud, which means fill in male Yud K, Yud He. So fill in the letters of the word Yud and fill in the letters of the word He. If I fill in the word, the letters uh, of the uh, the letters of the word of the of the letter yud, I fill it in. So yud is yud vav dalid, okay? The way I, I hear it, yud vav dalid. So yud is ten, vav is six, and dalid is four. It's twenty, and the hey is hey aleph, hey is five, aleph is one together it's six twenty plus six it's twenty six is exactly the name of Hashem Yudke Vavke it's the name of mercy of Hashem Yudke Vavke is twenty six so we see that it's only a clothing to to the name of Hashem of mercy which is Hashem Havia this is the name of Hashem of mercy that the, the God is only a clothing to the name of Hashem of mercy which means inside the darkness there's a big light we just we are just little in this world we don't see it but we but we that's why we ask Hashem to see the revealed good so what happens when there's judgment so when there's judgment, we go to Tehillim, Hodu Hashem Kitov, Ki Leolam Chasdo. So we go to chapter 118 Tehillim, it's also one, one, 107, in a few, 136, this verse is inside these Tehillim. Hodu Hashem Kitov, give thanks to Hashem, for He is good. Ki Leolam Chasdo. Because his kindness endures forever. So we see over here that, the, first of all, the tribes, by, by reciting Shema Israel, they're telling their father Israel, listen, we know that the measure of mercy and the measure of judgment are one, it's all mercy. This is making peace between the measure of mercy and the measure of judgment. And by this, we soften the judgments from us and the whole world. By, by by acknowledging it and knowing it. So Hodula Hashem Kito. Okay, so we see I'm going to go now again to the Baal Shem Tov and it says Shuvot in the name of the Baal Shem Tov it says Vina Baal Shem Tov Zecher Tzadik Pirash Divre Davida Melech. He's giving an explanation for 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 the verse in the Psalms of King David, Hodula Hashem Kitov Kilolam Chasdo, which means that we give thanks to Hashem for He is good and for His kindness endures forever. Kishem Havia, because the name of Hashem of mercy, Mispar Katan Begimatria Shaveto. So the name of Hashem of mercy in a small number, a numerical number, equals the word good. How come? So we said the name of Hashem of mercy is 26. Okay? And the name, and, and good, Tov in Hebrew, is 17. You remember, which means Tov, to, to give us a hint that it was good life, 
and Shana veShinen lebanav kol David Rachmana letav Avid, and he taught his children that everything that Hashem does is for good. So Besiat Adishma, we see over here that 26, which is the numerical value of the name of Hashem of mercy, Yudke Vavke, when we add two to six, it's eight. Eight is above nature. It's like two eyes. It's above nature. It's the spiritual eye. So, and we go to the word good, tov, in Hebrew, and we said it's 17. One plus seven is eight. So this is what the Baal Shem Tov says, is that the numerical value of, in, in, in small numerical value of the name of Hashem, of, um, of chesed, of mercy, of kindness, and the name, and the word good equals, the numerical value, Begimat Reaktana equals, because if you add two, 26 is the name of Hashem of mercy in numerical value, two plus six is eight, and good in Hebrew tov is 17, one plus seven is eight. So when there's judgment, it's like, um, the, like the name of Hashem, the Hashem is concealed, then it equals eight. Lachen, this is, this is considered good, which means uh, the good before it descends to this world is called good. And when it descends to this world, it is called kindness mercy which means when we see it and, and we say wow look at the mercy that the children of Israel are doing for each other we see it we see the mercy so when when it's concealed okay before it comes down it is it's, it's in the numerical value of eight then the name of Hashem is which means the name of Hashem is also concealed because inside the challenges we don't see it we don't see the goodness. We just see the challenges and the suffering. We, we don't see the end of the picture. We don't see the whole picture. We see just a dot in the picture. So this is before, it's good before it descends here. And it's chesed. It's chesed. It's kindness when it's already here and revealed. So, and we go again back. Which means, Mazachesed, what is kindness? So kindness, Chet is eight, Samech uh, is sixty, Daled is four, it's seventy-two. It's Ein Bet, it's like the seventy-two names of Hashem. Ein Bet is the name of Hashem, Yudke Vavke, because the filling of the name of Hashem, Yudke Vavke, the, the highest filling of the name of Hashem is Ein Bet, is seventy-two when the filling of Hashem, of all of the letters, is with a, with a letter Yud, okay? The Yud, like we said, it's Yud Vav Dalet, and then the He is the He and the letter Yud, and then we have the Vav is the Vav, Yud Vav, and then we have again another He, which is again He and the letter Yud. Together, the numerical value is 72. So when it's concealed before it descends over here, and it feels like a judgment, it feels like a challenge. This is in the numerical value of good. Okay, so Yud Kei Vav Kei becomes like, in, in small numerical value, it becomes equal to the word good. This is before it descends to this, to, to this earth and before we, the, the good is revealed. And when it's revealed, it's already considered chesed because we see it. That's why we ask from Hashem that we want to see the revealed goodness. Please, Hashem, the revealed goodness we want to see. That everybody will know, there won't be any question. But we need, as the sons of Abraham, Yitzchak and Yaakov, this is what Yaakov Avinu for 17 years taught. He was self-searching himself and understanding that we need to say thank you for everything. Everything that Hashem does for us. Everything is honey. Thank you, Hashem, for all of our lives. We know that you are lefani mishurat adin. You you handle us. We don't deserve anything, but Hashem has so much mercy that He keeps us. He sustains us every split of a second. He sustains the whole world every split of a second. What does Hashem want? Hashem wants us to know Him, and to know Him, to love Him, to love. How do we love Him? By loving His children. This, this is Vesiyat Adishmaya, 
This is what we learned from uh, Yaakov Avinu, that, uh, and the Baal Shem Tov says, and I didn't continue reading it to you, he says that that the name of Hashem Yud Kei Vav Kei in Begimatria Ktana Bemispar Katan equals Tov, equals good. Veyadua ki ki haviya bemispar katan more al din. And we know that the when the name of Hashem of mercy in in bispar katan in a small number which is eight uh, we said two plus it's twenty six two plus uh, six is eight when it's eight this uh, shows us a judgment. Omnam afal pishu bemispar katan im koze u begimatriato. So even though it's in in bemispar katan in a small numerical value it's eight. Even though it equals good, which means the good is concealed in it. We just uh, don't see it, but it's concealed. We, we need to know that everything that Hashem does, is, He does for good. Which means even, even then when we have challenges and there's a, the measure of judgment in the world, even then the goodness is inside. Therefore, we have to thank Hashem because this is good. Even though it's still in the measure of judgment, but once we say it, that David that everything that Hashem does does for good, by this we're softening the judgment. Okay? And by this, the 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 mercy, the kindness of Hashem will be revealed here in this world. So we come back to the question. Um, so by the belief of, of the Jewish people that, uh, that, inside, that inside the judgment, there's mercy by believing this, be not only saying it, but believing with our hearts that we believe this and we say this sentence, we say, Kol David Rahman al-Etav Avid, in every challenge that we have, by doing this, we bring peace between the measure of, of uh, judgment and the measure of mercy, and we bring peace uh, among, uh, upon the world. So now we go back to the closed parasha, that there's no letters, uh, there's no space between the end of Parashat Ve'ivyash to Parashat Ve'ichi in the scroll of, of the Torah, and we and we said that at least there should be nine a, a space of nine letters. Why? To tell us that even though now the children of Israel, after a Yaakov Avinu passes away, the exile starts. Even though this is happening, we know because nine means tov. Nine is the is is the first letter of the word good. And then we go back to Parashat Bereshit. In Parashat Bereshit, it, it says, Bereshit bara Elohim et ha-shamayim et ha-aretz, in the beginning Hashem created heaven and earth. And until verse 4, we don't see the letter Tet inside the verses. But we see at the end, it says, at, at, the, at verse 4, at the end of verse 4, it says, Vayar Elohim et ha-or kitom, that God saw the light was good. And this is when the first time when the letter Tet appears in in the Torah, this in, in, uh, as the, the word good, and it starts the word good Tet, and this is why it also says Vaoeb Chalomo. It says be Masechet Baba Kama, page fifty five, Amud Aleph. Aroe Tet be Chalomo Siman Yafelo. He who sees the letter Tet in his dreams, it's a good sign for him that good things will come. Why? Because the letter starts the Tet starts the word good, and good we said Tov zelifneishamit pashet lemata, and good is uh, is before it descends. The essence of good is it's before it descends to this world because when it descends to, once it descends to this world and it's revealed, it's already chesed, it's mercy, it's kindness. So Bezat Hashem Yaakov Avinu taught his children to say thank you to Hashem. That's the Shema Yisrael Hashem Elokeinu Hashem Echad. That we know that the measure of judgment and the measure of mercy are one. It's all mercy. Akol Echad. It's all Hashem. And, every, and everything that Hashem does, does for good. 
So I would like to bless all of us, Bezat Hashem, that Hashem will bring us vict victory, Bezat Hashem, that everybody will know that there's a creator to the world and, the, and that Hashem, the creator, that God appreciates life and, that, and God loves humanity. And we all have to know the, the ruling of Hashem. So let's bless Bezat Hashem uh, that we all have the schut to greet Mashiach Tzitkenu Bachamim Morim Bimara Be'amenu Amen Eliyahu Navi Zachur Latov L'olam Yipared Adam Mechavoro Bidbar Alacha Yachid Verabim Alacha Kerabim Achenu Kol Bet Yisrael Anetunim Batzara Ubashviya Omdim Ben Bayam Uben Bayabasha Hamakom Yirachem Alem Veyotze Mitzara Lirvacha Umaafela Lora Meshabud Lagula Hashta Be'agla Bizman Karib Yimru Amen Amen, amén, qué gran son.